Hello everyone, this is Doug Stansfield from Transatlantic Electric Conversions. Uh, this is our latest project. You can see that this is a large box truck. We're going to be converting it for a food service vehicle to be run indoors in a large, uh, large complex. So it can't have gas, so the client has asked us to uh, take out the gas engine and make it electric. So that's what we're doing. We uh, have to remove this big beast of a diesel engine. You can see here it's monstrous. We uh, have made room for it to come out. So it will come out this way and we'll be taking that out shortly. Uh, you can see that there will be lots of space up in here for, uh, for batteries. Uh, the client is opted to go with lead acid batteries. We're going to give them sealed batteries so they don't have to water them or uh, maintenance, maintenance free batteries. Is probably the best way to go in this application. Now, the other thing we're doing right now is we are uh, I'm siphoning out the diesel fuel. So we took the fuel pump out, which is this little gizmo here. Um, you can see this is the fuel pump. That's what it looks like for diesel. And uh, that's the float that tells it how much gas is in there. Okay, diesel. And then uh, that's how we're filtering it out. So we're just siphoning it off the bottom. And you can see it goes right down in here into the tank. So we're pretty happy with this so far. And uh, just checking here to see how much. Still got a lot of room in there. So it still takes a little bit of time to do these. These are all the parts we took off the engine. You can see all that garbage going to the recycler. And here is the backside of the diesel motor. So you can see it's a very large 6.2 liter, I believe. So it's a pretty large um, diesel. So right down there is the transmission. We're going to get a brand new trans for this. Uh, because of the fact that it's diesel, it has a lower RPM rating. And we're going to need to have the RPMs a little higher for the electric motor to make sure that we don't stall the electric motor. Uh, the dashboard is pretty ugly. <coughs> um, I don't think we're going to end up doing much to the dash. You can see here there really wasn't much up here. It wasn't even uh, really a radio or anything. So it was pretty, pretty boring looking. So uh, we might jazz it up a little, but not a whole lot. So this is really the next person that's going to get this truck actually is the vending company. They're going to put a very large... Um, food service things in it in the back like ice cream and some other things so it's going to be a pretty interesting project when it's all finished but we're pretty excited about it and that's our latest update check back for more updates later